wanted to talk about several different things here. Um, first of all, I bought this um, hammer drill. I have never had a hammer drill in uh, some 60 years of living and this is the first one I've ever had. Uh, this one comes with a depth stop and here you can see some of the uh, markings on it. Also it comes with this handle. Uh, most of the um, modern drills that I've used have had a circular surface like this one. And this is for the handle. Uh, one of the things that maybe I should have done when I bought it new is to get the proper nut here. Um, all of the fastenings that I have found uh, right here is the the wing nut to tighten this onto this drill and <clears throat> so I got another nut that I had already and this comes from a Chrysler um, headlight bracket because I used to work at a factory where they made Chrysler headlight back brackets for Jeeps. All right, so now this drill works very good. Um, I drilled holes in new concrete and in old concrete for redheads. If you don't know what redheads are, they are fasteners that you use to put into concrete holes. Um, I use this drill bit right here. As you can see, it's quite long. Um, this one is half inch, I think. Right there. So it's it's half inch. Uh, we'll measure the length of it. Uh, you could drill a hole probably 10 inches deep with this. Um, I have not had a, an occasion to drill a 10 inch hole, I don't believe. I may have, uh, but the reason why I bought this is so that I could drill a hole through an 8 inch cement block, which I have done. So it does work really well, and this is the hammer drill that I've used so far. Um, it's got several different features on it. The uh, reverse forward thing, and uh, I believe this switch up here turns on the hammer part of it. I've only used this as a hammer drill. I have not tried it to drill regular uh, holes. Now I, I do have a Milwaukee half inch drill that I bought in the 90s and up until now this year 2020 I've used that to drill holes in concrete. It takes forever. Um, but the new concrete was poured this year and the old concrete that I drilled through was poured before the 60s. Uh, my family moved here at this place in the 1960s and so it's older than that. <clears throat> so that's that drill that I got recently. Also they have a um, keeper for the key. 
right there. And that's so you don't lose it. Uh, modern drills have this sort of arrangement on this particular one. Um, it ha does have a, I'll plug it in, try it. It does have a button here um, to keep it. I don't actually know what that button's for, but <clears throat> if you get one, maybe you'll figure it out. I I haven't used that. Uh, I noticed also that it has uh, very soft rubber here for the grip, and it's got a half inch chuck. Uh, it says uh, 1.5 to 13 millimeter half inch to 20 UNF. Um, I would say that's the drill size. Alright, so that's that drill. We'll put that away. I got another one. This one here. Uh, this is a very unique concept um, to where that you can take bits like this and you can put them in here like that. I have not used this drill very much. Uh, maybe we'll look at that a little bit later. Um, the second drill that I'm going to look at is this type right here. Uh, this is the bit that goes with it. This again is a Bosch 2 inch bit. Now the problem that I have found with this is that um, I broke one of these and I also broke one that was a Phillips. Uh, this one here is supposedly impact ready. And, it, and you can see that compared to these other bits, this one for instance, this one is a Vermont American. I've had this for several years. I've never broken one of these, except maybe one. But I have had these for many years. Vermont American. I notice at my local store that they also have a brand called Montana. I did not find any bits like this. And you can see that in this particular example, this is supposedly impact ready, and you can see this area right here. It's very thin, um, approximately an eighth of an inch. I've broken two of these. One is the Phillips, and one is, this one here is uh, T25. T25 looks like this on the end. Uh, some kind, some people call these star drives, and the end of it does look like a star. Also, these are called Torx bits. T O R X Torx bits. I do not recommend these. I'm I'm not going to buy any more of these if I can find them in the Vermont American style or. Montana style, I'm going to buy them. Alright, the next thing I wanted to talk about 
is this particular drill. I've researched these ex uh, extensively. And as you can see on the side here, it does say 1600. Uh, 1600 is 1600 inch pounds. 1600 inch pounds are is fairly good for a drill. Um, I have found um, 1800 um, inch pound drills like this which I thought were very good because they have this combination on the front where you can use half inch sockets plus the normal um, easy changing bits and you just uh, take this you take your bit push this ring forward like this and then put your bit in you can do it one-handed like I did I've been changing these since I was uh, very young and so it's a little bit more difficult to get out rather than put it in uh, so it's not that real convenient also what you have and what I installed from the kit is this belt hook these are extremely valuable and if you notice on this one it has a slot here in the back where you can adjust this and move it forward or backwards uh, here's the, the battery the battery came charged already push this in take it out this particular one is 18 volt and um, 2 amp per hour 2 amp hours not too familiar with that um, what that means but basically if you get a 1.5 amp hour battery it will not last as long as a for instance 3.1 amp hour battery um, you just choose which one you want of course the uh, 1.5 amp hour batteries are not going to last as long because they're smaller they use smaller um, cells another thing feature about this that I like is that the bit is located at the back and it's a double ended bit for Phillips screws Phillips screws are going the way of being non-existent I suppose because uh, right now you can make your choices and buy either Phillips screws or you can buy um, these kind right here if I can find one now, I guess I don't have one right now but uh, Phillips screws are uh, going to become antiques probably I'm not sure but the uh, Torx bits for impact drivers are almost ex essential because if you're driving three inch screws into solid oak this might work I have not tried it I have driven a three inch screw through about uh, one inch of maple soft maple and it just uh, powered it right through I've not tried these to see how long the battery lasts or anything like that I just got this yesterday here's your typical charger uh, they have different models um, I have not tried this yet um, but th this is the one that came with the tool and I bought this whole outfit with a one battery one charger 
and one tool. <clears throat> I bought it for $89, approximately, before the tax. Another feature that I like about this is I don't really use these uh, straps. That's not the feature I like, but I don't really use those. I may just cut it off, I don't know. And the other feature I do like is this button right here. Shows you how many bars you have on your drill battery. So that's a good feature. Here is the registration form that comes with <laughs> your impact driver. Um, I do not answer all the questions because I feel that um, it's a matter of my information being private. Um, of course, they're using it as a marketing tool to find out how they can improve their product and, and so forth. But you just mail this in. A typical registration form. I did not fill this out yet. But according to this, you have a three-year three -year tool coverage no fine print according to them. <laughs> I don't know if you would consider this down here fine print, but uh, the other aspect of it is two-year battery coverage. Right in the middle there. And then down here it says one call hotline. Uh, I have never called a hotline except maybe once. Um, I don't know. I don't care too much about them. But if there was a problem with this tool within the three years, I would uh, like to read this along with these other two books that came with it. Here is the tool itself in this booklet. I didn't read it. This is the charger. Since it has a different warranty, I suppose they had to have two books. And then you also get battery, it says battery charger list. And I didn't read it either. Apparently they have different chargers down here. And of course it's in different languages. Another thing, another feature is tool bag. Uh, it's okay. I didn't try it yet. A lot of times these tool bags are the bare minimum. Um, sometimes you'll have a, a, a tool case like this for my other um, hammer drill. It's a lot more durable. It's going to last longer. I don't, I'm not a big fan of cases, but it does contain the accessories pretty well. 